So today I'd like to talk to you about taking your Weebly web page design and improving upon it visually. So here I am looking at my live Weebly and I have taken my text that I carefully crafted uh, elsewhere and copied and pasted it here. And I, I could call this done. But honestly, if you're doing this for um, classwork and you feel like, well, I can just turn this in. It looks just like the paper I'd normally print out and staple together. I want you to stop. Let's see what we can do to improve upon the, the look of this because this is deadly boring. Sorry. And it's not leveraging what we can bring to the web, which are not only graphics, but graphics that can then lead elsewhere by linking. So let's take a look at how we're going to improve this. I'm going to switch back to editing mode, which I already have open, and I'm on the same page. Now, uh, you'll notice there is a feature on the left side called image and text. It works well. The problem is, and I've confirmed this with Weebly Tech Support in the spring of 2014, I have confirmed that you can only add one image per block of text. So the workaround, the hack that you have to perform is to put in multiple image and text elements using this to add more than one picture where the text will then wrap around it. Trust me, I'll show you this works. So I'm gonna, I've got my text here. I'm gonna use this as the source and copy and paste from it into the image and text elements, but you could also copy and paste from another source. A Word document, Google Docs, Notepad, whatever makes you happy. So. Let's drag this over and drop. There's images and text. Just for fun, I'm going to upload the image first. And we'll grab our first image. And we wait for the internet. All right, and now our image is in place. Now, I could copy and paste the whole chunk of text next to my image, but the problem there is I can only put in one image with that block of text. So what I've sorted out is instead what you do is you grab the text that you want to have next to the image. This is your best bet, folks. I'm going to cut it, Command-X, Control-X, whatever makes you happy, paste it in, and it's now arranged around my image. Now, what you do is you grab another image and text block, drag that over, upload your next image, and here it goes. There's my next image. I'm going to grab my next chunk of text. Apologies, friends. Here we go. Got it, cut it, bounce up here, paste it, and I can continue doing that. That's the only way that you can have multiple images within text. It's by using multiple image and text elements. Now, there's a little bit of modification I can do here. For visual balance, I'd like to move the image of the woman on the bike over. So I've clicked on the image. I'm going to go to advanced and I want to move the position over to the right side. So now we've got a little bit better visual balance on our page. Uh, there are other things that you can do. Click on the image, I'll go to the helmet. You can um, go back to advanced, give it a border of black to make it set off a little bit more from the text. Um, there's one more thing that I think is really valuable, where I, and this is how I want you to take advantage of working within uh, a web document for a web page as opposed to something that you would print out on paper and turn in. I'm going to add one more image and text block down here. So we can have an image, and what I want to do is link that image to a larger version of itself. So I've got an infographic. We're going to drop in here to our document, 
and perform the same old operation. Copy over here, paste over there. Uh, but what I want to do now is link the small version of this image to a larger version. So if I click on it, I go to link, I could link this to a website, but I've actually already placed that image on another page within my Weebly website known as About. So I'll drop it there and save it. And now we've got a link. It's a little hard to tell that it's there, so let's go back to our image properties one more time. Go to Caption and click Thumbnail to see full-size infographic. I'm dropping in a caption so that now my viewers will have a little bit more idea of what they can do by clicking on that. Let's, I'm also going to offset it with a border just to make it a little bit more visible. I'll change the thickness. I really wish Weebly offered more options as far as um, making an image stand out but we work with what we have. So let's go to publish, go to our website, and now you can see our page is looking better. The visuals help. There's our linked graphic, and I can click on that and go to the full-size infographic. So it's looking better. I would like to pay a little bit more attention to the text though. So back to edit mode again. Let's clear this off. Um, making text stand out. Think about magazines that you've looked at. One way that it can be done is to take the first few letters, few first few words, excuse me, and simply bold them. You could bold and increase the font size, again, to draw people in, to get them looking down the page for more. This is a, a technique that magazines and newspapers have used for quite a while. You could simply bold. You could also go for appropriate color change. You can see there I inadvertently also changed my alignment. I guess that would bring people in. So think about how you can work with the text to make it a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more interesting, put in images that complement it, bring those together so that when you publish your website you've taken something that looks a lot more like a, a web page and a lot less like something that you would print out and hand in. Thanks again for watching. Any questions or comments put them in, well, the comments section below. And I'll see you next time.